Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D quick tip I want to show you how to create a kill box for Pyro. Now why would we need this? We have this fire here in the trash bin and if I zoom out you can see that there's a lot of smoke up here that needs to be simulated and therefore calculated but in the end this or something like this is gonna be our framing. So why not cut off the simulation somewhere here so that the smoke and fire up here don't have to be calculated anymore. Now let me show you how you can do this. First of all let's create a cube and we're gonna make it a little bit smaller in size y and place it up here and let me also create a display tag from the render tags and set the shading mode to lines so that we can see the fire through it. This is not going to deactivate the cube for rendering by the way. And then we're going to right click, go to simulation tags and add another pyro tag. Now here's what we need to set up in order to make this work as a kill box. First of all we need to untick surface emitter so this is going to be a volume emitter. Next we're going to set the add density parameter to a negative value. Let's go with minus 20 for now and this is subtracting density from the simulation. We also gonna untick color because we don't want to influence the color. Then we also want to set temperature to negative. So we set the set parameter to zero and the add parameter to minus, let's go with a very high number here. And then we untick velocity and down here under noise, we set the noise strength to zero. And now if we rewind and press play, you can see that the fire and smoke are killed here and don't have to be calculated further up anymore. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.